role as an inspired marketer is to create marketing that connects with them and that resonates with them. And when, and you'll find this in your own behavior, when you bump into marketing or a coach or a consultant or a book or anything that you really connect and resonate with, you want to follow it. Okay, it feels good to you. And what inspired marketing is absolutely not about is persuasion and manipulation. It is not about coming up with the right words. You know, there's lots of people that market headlines and, you know, use these exact words. And we've all seen them in the clickbait ads and stuff to get you to click. And it might get the initial reaction, but then it just pisses people off because they feel like they've been manipulated. You don't need to manipulate and persuade when you connect and resonate. When you connect and resonate, they will want to buy, they will want to follow, and they will be happy clients and they will happily give you their money because they want it and they recognize they need it. When you manipulate and persuade, they may still pull out their wallet, they may give you their money, but how long are they gonna be happy about it? When are they gonna start resenting it or feeling like, oh, I made a mistake? Um, I've tested the waters on both because I fell victim to uh, some people that were teaching me some more persuasive and manipulative strategies, um, and I, I did it for a very little while, and it just felt icky. That's my technical word. Felt icky. Couldn't sleep at night. Didn't like how it made me feel. Also got me clients who signed up, paid me a lot of money, and then were really a pain to work with because they, they weren't right for me. They really weren't ready to be there. They didn't they didn't come in completely because they were ready, willing, and able. They came in because they were persuaded to come in. And that shows up at some point or another. It either shows up in their lack of success, it shows up in their resistance in working with you, their resistance to do the things that they're being asked to do because they're not ready. 